I'm Mr. Slurdo, and this is Flame. Dr. Monique's back off her fantastic episode of Iftahaj Mohammed. We're so glad you made it. And we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot. Today's Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. Hey, that's kind of neat, Flame, right? 3-23-23. A cool date in our calendar, Dragons. But before we get going on our show, let's hear what Matthias has to say. Take it away, Matthias. Great stuff, Matthias. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the moment of silence. Flame, the sun is going to rise today at 7.08 in the morning. Dr. Monique, the sun is going to set at 7.24. And it feels like a couple days ago it was freezing, and now it's in the upper 70s. Bananas, this weather. And dragons, we've gotten a lot of energy coming your way from the fun run. The fun runs are coming. And last week, remember that flame when we were talking about the zebra? Zebras like to run dragons. And zebras, as we know, are not really in Annandale. There's a very special animal that loves to run. And it's here in the United States, a little bit in Canada, and then a little bit in Mexico. This animal, dragons, is called the pronghorn. Pronghorn. Now that is a compound word. Pronghorn. And the pronghorn is considered to be the American antelope, a fast friend of flame, but not fast like a cheetah or even fast like, an, like a falcon or an eagle. A pronghorn can run very long distances at a very high speed, keeping up to about 35 miles an hour for miles and miles and miles. So that is crazy fast for a very long time and a beautiful animal that loves to be around other pronghorns but not necessarily here in Virginia on the eastern side more found in the Rocky Mountains and in the plains in the Midwest so let's learn a little bit more about pronghorns are they herbivores which means they eat only plants are they carnivores which means they eat only meat or are they omnivores which means they eat both plants and meat what do you think flame flame they are not Omnivores. Dr. Monique, you are correct. They are herbivores. So now, just like the zebra, are they predators, which means they're on the hunt? Are they prey, which means they are being hunted? Or are they both predator and prey? So they can't be predators. That's not possible because they're only herbivores. So that means they must be prey. Oh no, they are prey. And what do you think? Here's a better question, right, Flame? What do you think hunts pronghorns? What do you think? Yes. Ooh, sometimes a bear or a wolf. Yes, Dr. Monique, a coyote. A crazy coyote. Watch out there, pronghorns. Well, now, are we least concerned about the pronghorn population, which means there are plenty of them? Are they threatened, which means their numbers are going down? Or are they endangered, which means if we're not careful, we might lose pronghorns. What do you think, Dr. Monique? You've been two for two. Good job, Dr. Monique. They are, in fact, endangered. But the good news is, dragons, there is a special act or a bill that was passed in 1969 to protect pronghorns. And their population went from about 12,000 to over a million. So it's working. They're going in the right direction. So maybe they're more threatened, but we'll consider them endangered. All right, last one, dragons. Pronghorns, are they diurnal, which means they are active during the day? Are they crepuscular, which means they are active when the sun rises and the sun sets? Or are they nocturnal, which means they do most of their activity at night? At night. You got one, Flame. They are diurnal and a little crepuscular, but we need to give you credit for diurnal. They mostly run and have a great time during the day. And pronghorns, when the map, sh look at this map, right, dragons? They can be found all along this part of the United States. 
and are very friendly creatures. And if they're not eating right away, they're probably running. That's like you, Flame. Well, you're more flying. Maybe that's more like you, Dr. Monique, or some of the dragons looking to get toe tokens. The pronghorn, a friendly animal, and always a friend of Flame. Da -da -da. It's time for the birthday box. All right, Flame, yesterday, no birthdays, except for Miss Williamson. But today, we have a special dragon that has a birthday, and that is Valerie Amaya Lopez. Valerie, a happy birthday to you in second grade. Neat stuff. And, well, it's Thursday, Dragon, so we got to regulate. I mean, we have what a week so far. And you know how pronghorns regulate? Here's a fun fact for you. Pronghorns like to regulate by having a spirit week the last week of March. That's a fact. Look at this, Dragons. We have a spirit week coming up that will get us excited about the last week of school before the break. And pronghorns, I've been told, love Camelot spirit wear. So on Monday, if you want to get in your best self, you have to wear Camelot things, Camelot apparel. Here are some other items. We've got, what does that say? PJ Day. That's, that's something else. Why well, don't, that's ridiculous. PJ Day on a Tuesday, whoa. And then we have Popcorn Day and Hat Day and Board Game Day. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, well, that's exciting. So we have a lot of spirit coming our way next week and we always have the fun run. Yes, Dr. Monique, let's update the dragons tomorrow on how the fun run is going. That'll be a good way to end this week. So on behalf of Flame and on behalf of Dr. Monique and on behalf of all the pronghorns out there, I'm Mr. Slurno. Enjoy your Thursday today, dragons. See the goodness, be the goodness. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.